Is Toyota finally ready to enter the EV world? After two years of challenges, Toyota has finally cracked the code in the electric vehicle segment. So, how did they pull it off? Toyota is working on solid state batteries. These batteries are similar to regular lithium ion batteries, but have some important differences. Solid state batteries have been in development for many years. In fact, the concept of solid state batteries has been around for almost two centuries. These batteries weren't developed exclusively by Toyota. Many different manufacturers have also tried to create solid state batteries for various industries. So, what is the so called difference here? Solid state batteries are still lithium based. They use metallic lithium for the anode, just like regular lithium batteries. However, instead of the usual materials, solid state batteries use oxides or sulfides for the cathode. This change increases the energy density of the batteries. The biggest difference is in the materials used for the cathode. This new approach makes solid state batteries more efficient and powerful. However, solid state batteries also use solid electrodes and electrolytes. Most other batteries use polymer or liquid gel electrolytes. Solid electrolytes act as a perfect separator, allowing only lithium ions to pass through. This makes a battery more efficient and much safer because they're less flammable. You might know this, but most pacemakers use these type of batteries. Solid state batteries are known for being very safe. However, because they are complex and the technology wasn't advanced enough, these batteries were rarely used. And this is unfortunate. Also, with the world of electronic devices, especially electric vehicles, wasn't as big as it is now. This slowed down the development of such advanced technologies. With the growing need for more efficient batteries, Toyota saw the potential of using solid electrolyte batteries. In today's world, this is why they're focused on making a reliable solid state battery. And how are they better than regular lithium ion batteries? They're an upgrade in every way possible. Solid state batteries can hold a charge much better, which means vehicles using them will have a much higher range. They also have a much higher energy density, up to 300% more than modern batteries. This means a solid state battery of the same size as a regular battery will have much more energy. As a result, Toyota has announced that their solid state batteries will help their cars pass the 500 mile range mark next year. Solid state batteries will be much more powerful. Toyota projects that the first batch of these production ready batteries will have at least a 520 mile range, and the second generation will get closer to 700 miles. What if you need to cover even greater distances? Don't worry, solid state batteries offer a solution for that too. If the increased range isn't enough, there are more benefits to come. Solid state batteries are also expected to charge much faster, even with their increased capacity. Using a solid electrode allows these batteries to handle higher voltages for recharging. As a result, Toyota predicts that their solid state batteries will be able to charge from 10 to 80% in less than 10 minutes. This is incredibly fast, and almost unbelievable. And let's not forget about safety. Lithium ion batteries can catch fire easily in a car crash, so switching to a safer option makes a lot of sense. No one wants to be in a risky situation. Also, solid state batteries are much lighter than regular ones. This is because the solid electrolytes weigh much less than the liquid based ones. Also, their better energy density helps reduce the battery weight even more. This improvement is much needed because it will make electric vehicles more enjoyable to drive and allow for the creation of cars with better range but less power. There won't be a need for excessive power to move a heavy car. Finally, when solid state batteries are produced in larger amounts, their price is expected to be lower than that of regular lithium ion batteries. This could make them more affordable in the future. The price of solid state batteries might not drop dramatically because they still use lithium, which is quite expensive. However, it's good to know that we're moving closer to more affordable electric vehicles. Are there any downsides to solid state batteries? Unfortunately, there are a few issues that need to be resolved before they become widely available. One of the main issues is the cost of these batteries. Although prices might go down, they're still expected to be high for now. However, that's just a possibility that might be reached once Toyota starts making them in large quantities. Until then, solid state batteries will be more expensive than regular batteries, which means a higher price for buyers. But price isn't the only issue. Solid state batteries have also shown some reliability problems in real world use. Additionally, there are issues of high resistance and instability at the interfaces. When the solid state electrolyte comes into contact with other materials, these problems can occur. When the solid state electrolyte comes into contact with the electrode, some chemical reactions create a layer that blocks the flow of lithium ions. This can lead to the battery degrading faster and having a shorter lifespan, making it less reliable. 
Also, while solid electrolytes are very powerful, they can still face reliability issues. However, this high power comes with a big downside. Since they use much higher voltages, the electrolytes can wear out much faster than expected. This makes solid state batteries less reliable compared to regular batteries. These issues are considered the weak points of solid state batteries, and they've been very difficult to fix. For these reasons, solid state batteries still face significant challenges. Even though solid state batteries have been around for more than a year, they haven't been widely used yet. This is due to the big problems they face. But should we expect these batteries to start being made in large numbers soon? Yes, we should, and it might happen soon. Despite the issues mentioned earlier, Toyota is already working on solving them. Their engineers are actively addressing these problems, and have made significant progress. Toyota was initially unsure about entering the electric vehicle market. Their officials, especially Akio Toyota, weren't completely convinced about EVs. They saw that most EVs had some problems compared to regular gas engines, such as short ranges, long charging times, high costs, and complex maintenance. Toyota is definitely facing a tough situation, as the company has a lot of challenges to handle. Toyota's position in the EV market isn't very strong yet. However, it looks like they're making smart moves, and it's great to see how committed they are to developing solid-state batteries. As mentioned before, the benefits of these batteries are too good for Toyota to ignore. If they manage to develop this technology and release it to the public soon, it could be a major win. The development of solid-state batteries is very important, not just for Toyota, but for all EV makers. Toyota believes in their new technology so much that they've announced that they plan to sell 3.5 million EVs each year by 2030. That would be a 40-fold increase. In less than six years, Toyota plans to introduce 30 new models, including a three-row SUV, a smaller hatchback, and a sports car, among others. The development of these batteries has already caused a stir among car manufacturers. European brands in particular are facing tough competition in their own markets. European brands are struggling in their own markets due to high prices and lack of new ideas. Because of this, many manufacturers have shown interest in or announced plans to develop solid-state batteries. Volkswagen is one of the most notable companies working on this. They've been testing solid-state batteries for a long time, and their efforts have paid off. They recently announced that the recently tested battery was able to keep over 95% of its maximum capacity after 300,000 miles of use. This is impressive, especially since long-term reliability is still a big concern for solid-state batteries. Given this, Toyota's goal of having a production-ready battery in the next few years seems realistic. However, the 2027 release date might be a bit too optimistic. We think solid-state EVs will start appearing on the roads by 2030, not just from Toyota, but from other manufacturers as well. Do you think Toyota is finally getting on the EV bandwagon? Let us know in the comments below, and also hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you next time, and until then, goodbye.